Satnam. So there is this love in the universe and this love in the universe is inside of us. So every cell, atom, tissue, muscle of our being carries this divine frequency of love of the universe. So when we are in a constant blessing mode, like something I teach my son is that whenever we see a homeless or see someone in the street that's having a problem or whatever, we just bless them, we send them blessings and we know that they're being taken care of, just like we know that we are being taken care of. So be in a state of always blessing everyone. Whenever someone causes some kind of trigger in you, when a person, you just don't agree with that person or they're just not vibrating at your level. And that's okay, that's, that's where they're at and we are not, to be judged mental towards them or even to put a label on them or anything like that. We're just here to really bless them. You know, we're so powerful that our blessing can really put this, transmute this energy into the world that the more we start blessing people, instead of us cursing them and talking bad about them, you know, just honoring where they're at and blessing them. Say, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. And you know, something I was once told is that everyone's integrity is at a different level. And sometimes a person, it could be one of your ex-girlfriends or one of your ex-boyfriends or one of, you know, a, a person that you were really close to, an ex-friend that, you know, did something that you don't agree with, that it's not it's not vibrating at your integrity or your truth, but you know, you just honoring them at where they're at and not judging that what they did was bad or what they did was good, but just knowing that it's just not vibrating with you and that you just have to let them go. You know, when a person is constantly fighting with you or constantly triggering you, you know, it's it's time for you to make that decision of letting them go. But at the same time, just blessing them. Bless, bless, bless them. Bless everyone you come in contact with. You know, I have this thing where I'm in the grocery store, wherever I'm go, that I'm constantly, you know, just blessing. I said, I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. And I gotta tell you, it really changes the way you look at people. People start becoming that divine. You start seeing the divine in them. And it's just a beautiful experience when you can change from being um, this shy person from being, you know, um, socially awkward because I could be sometimes socially awkward. I have, I just don't like small talk. And, and then when you start, you know, start, it starts changing your, you start really seeing the love and, and seeing those divine beings as divine, because that's what we are. We are all divine. We all hold the universe within us. And that universal love is right here within every cell of our being. This sacred body right here is so divine. And that's exactly what you are. And I'm going to keep repeating this in every single video that I do. It's that divinity within us, because a lot of us forget, we forget how blessed Less we are. We forget to bless others. We forget to be compassionate. And we just have to remember. It's just about remembering that moment that you can take your mind, your thoughts into remembering like, wait a minute, that person is divine. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. So bless everyone you come in contact with. I really encourage you to do that. You know, and if a person is triggering you, I know it could be really especially us, you know, people that are doing a lot of healing, you know, as light workers, we're doing a lot of healing within our, our, our psychic and our aura and our emotional bodies and our, all of our 10th bodies, like we have, we know in Kundalini yoga. Um, so when we're doing this type of work, well, I think it's 11 bodies. I don't, I remember. Anyways, <laughs> so when we're doing this healing work, a lot of things come up, and, and, and not just not just in yoga, but just in a conscious person. You know, a lot of this, uh, a lot of our triggers come up, and that's the reason that when we really start blessing every trigger, every person, every trauma, every shadow, everything that's coming out, and everyone, constant blessing. I bless you. I bless you. I acknowledge you. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Our life starts changing. Are we start vibrating at a different level, things just start falling into place and we are just vibrating at a high frequency. And that's what we are supposed to do. We're supposed to vibrate at what we came here to do. We're here to do something big in this world and it's just, we are that light, we are that love and we are also that shadow and we are also that, that darkness. So we are, we are it all. 
So I invite you to take the moment to bless everyone and to really start you know, vibrating at the frequency of the universe, which is love, which is every part of your being, every thing that is you, just vibrate that level and bless your partners. How many of us don't bless our partners? Bless your partners, bless them. Wake up in the morning and do a prayer for your partner. Say, bless him or her. I, you know, all vibrate at a level and just bless them, bless them, bless them. Send them lots of blessings because when we bless our partners, our partners can really start vibrating they could really start being here where we're meant to what they're meant to do and it's just so beautiful when we can do that so i love you and i invite you to be a bless a blessing vibration in the universe Satnam. <sighs>